it shades off for Sunday at Monmouth Park. We are taping this on a bench right outside the jockey's room, in between the jock's room and the saddling enclosure. I wonder if this is the same bench where 45 years ago, more than that, 50 years ago, I used to see guys like Don Brumfeld, Vicky Solomon, some of the great riders of that era at Monmouth Park, sitting here smoking a cigarette before they would get on their mount in the upcoming race. No more cigarette smoking anymore in this country, so we're not going to get a chance to see that. But we are going to get a chance to uh, look at some of these cars. We're in race one, third race off on layoff number two, determined fast, is vastly improved versus a strong deep field and can be tactical here from this draw. He, she actually takes a significant drop down in class. That was a great education, watching the interactions of the owners, the trainers, the jockeys in this area before races. Uh, you would uh, really get a sense of people's personalities, even the strategy developing in a race, and even just the saddling of horses and handling the equipment and everything else. I encourage people in this day of television and computer screens to actually get down and look at things live in the walking rink and the paddock. Look at flesh and blood. That is the essence of the game. In race number two on Sunday, the one magic last came back too quickly with that last time and gets better rest here. The early daily double play is the two with the one, four, five. In race six, number three, last is Notion ran super off the bench going too far and on the wrong surface last out. She made a good middle move and galloped out well and should be primed for the turf to dirt cut back here. The six, my two Sophia's has plenty of upside, but loses Paco Lopez, who has ridden her in both of her starts, both of which are victories, but Paco Lopez instead is on number seven, Sadie Baby, who likely will try to rate a tag here, and might run shorter than six furlongs. In race 10, number four, Dr. Rags has raced into shape and runs the distance. Number five, Ty Cone drops to where he fits. Number one, Rosifus gets the cutback he needs.